just in time before it start raining. Um, yeah, nice. So I'm in Houston for the holidays. It is actually Christmas Eve, and it's like 68 degrees. Uh, Christmas Day, the high is uh, about 74. So it's gonna be nice and warm. Um, I got tagged for the three tag a while back, and I do still intend to do it. Uh, I'll probably do it in about a week. I've, I've actually done it four or five times. I just have not been happy with uh, the results. But um, anyway, I just kind of wanted to say, hey, um, I'm going to do a little riding around Houston over the next couple of days and, and uh, do a couple of vlogs from a couple of different places, including dogs taking a shit in the yard, things like that. Um, I think it's going to be a pretty good Christmas this year. I got a couple of pretty cool things to show you guys. Uh, a buddy of mine got me some new gloves. He bought them and uh, did the MSF with him and then bought the rest of his gear for, for the bike that he got. And he's a uh, kind of person that likes things to match. And so he went out and bought a different pair of gloves so that they were the right color. And uh, these more or less match my bike and my gear. And uh, a while ago, he asked me if I wanted them. I was like, yeah, sure. I needed new gloves. Comfortable as hell. They breathe pretty well, though, so uh, using them when it gets much cooler than this is not going to be a good idea. But uh, anyway, um, all the debris that you see laying around trees, cut up trees, and things like that are uh, leftovers from the hurricane from uh, Ike. And you'll occasionally see construction sites and whatnot. I'm gonna cruise down to Galveston. I'm gonna try to get some uh, footage of some of the areas that got really hit hard. Um, around here, there really wasn't a hell of a lot of damage. You know, I mean, there's chunks of fences missing and the occasional tree landing on the roof of a house. But for the most part, the winds didn't really damage the homes. Um, falling trees did. As you can see, there's lots of trees, uh, big oak trees and whatnot. And their, their root structure sucks for uh, high wind and uh, wet situations. So uh, they get blown over fairly easily. But, you know, that's life. Um, it's one of the risks you take living in the area and uh, keeping the trees. My parents cut down um, three out of the four trees that were in their yard last year. And then the hurricane took care of the last one, took out the driveway. It didn't hit the house. Uh, an old, the house that an old friend of mine lived in um, had a very large oak tree land in the middle of it, cut in half, kind of like a cake. And uh, according to my parents, it actually looked like a cake, like a layer cake. So that had to be kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna, you know, cruise the island and, and head out to Baytown and whatnot. Because uh, Baytown got hit pretty hard. So we'll see about all that. Um, I don't really know what else to say right now. It is Christmas Eve, so I can't stay out too long. See, that sign is from the hurricane, you know, missing. Just stuff like that. There's a lot of those, those big... Uh, plastic signs up there a lot of them just don't exist anymore I guess they're not all that resilient which is kind of a good thing you want the center of your sign to blow out rather than knock the whole thing down you know so it kind of makes sense um, those plastic caps can't be too expensive a couple hundred bucks maybe as opposed to spending you know, $5,000 to put up a whole new sign, a whole new billboard in the parking lot. Uh, 
yeah. Oh well. I uh, guess I'll let that be that, and uh, I'm gonna try to get this uploaded as soon as I can. You know, like Friday, probably. But um, we'll see. And uh, yeah, there should be a couple hours worth of stuff coming out of here, coming out of this trip. Should keep me going for the next uh, week or so. Maybe actually next two or three weeks. And uh, keep you guys entertained through the winter. It's it's like 12 degrees warmer here than it is in San Marcos. So. Uh, it's you know only slightly chilly here but in san marcus it's like fuck that i'm cold i really feel like riding and all this shit so anyway i will catch y'all later